Mindavas continues the attack from the pavilion end. Ejaz Ahmed is the new batsman out there. Enjoying his quick down the wicket he goes and down the ground, just clearing the mid-on fieldsman. Didn't quite get it in the middle of the bat, but he took the odds against being able to clear the deepish mid-on right back near the circle. Um, fast medium deliveries. Short ball, and that's gone many a mile. Going, going, gone. Ejaz has certainly found the right bounce and the right line to pick six. Generally speaking, in recent times, it's worked very well. This time he goes over the offside. Doesn't quite get onto it. The ball will race into the outfield. He won't catch it. And that's four more to Pakistan. The crowd is enjoying it. And the target that they are chasing, this Pakistanis do need some very good overs, especially with just about four overs to go before the field spreads out. Good, he hits him now. They're going to struggle later on when the field goes back. And also, I think when the slow bullets comes on, the ball is, is not going to get onto the bat. bat. And here, Ijaz playing with a very straight bat and picking the right spot, picking four more runs to Pakistan. Pressure's on the bowler. The line and length is important. Here he goes again. Thick edge. That'll do. He'll take the runs. 20 from the over. A great one for Pakistan. Ijaz Ahmed. 32 from 36. Charging, trying to hit it for six. Instead hits it along the ground for four. The way he launched at it, I think he probably got closer to the ball than he'd anticipated. If it wasn't quite there, it would have gone over the top. Good evening, Asif. There he goes, dancing down the wicket and hitting it very hard. Just over the top of the umpire there. And Buckstone's 100. Wait, he can't get their attention. Around the wicket now. And that's a beautiful shot. Just wide of mid-off with the angle around the wicket, not getting the same amount of turn. And Ejaz able to hit it wide of mid-off, who is much straighter. And that is the reason Raviz is giving him the strike. Ejaz beautifully on top of that ball. And with the full swing of the bat, placing it to perfection. But a steel building. He expired in 1904, and that massive business that's developed with him starting starting it off way back in those days as we watch Jaya Surya and sweeping it, looking and coming back for his 50 Ijaz Ahmed running well and this very appreciative crowd here at Eden Gardens in Calcutta showing their appreciation of good cricket. Well, for someone who wasn't really feeling well to start the... the well, the way Jaya Surya went and congratulated uh, the wicket keeper there, one felt that uh, he was pretty confident that that's out. And it certainly looks very close. And I think every likelihood that Ijaz Ahmed was just out. look out and third umpire Venkat Raghavan agrees so Ija is sliding out not able to slide back in time and so Jaya Surya the little man who whacked them out slides forward looking at the back foot remember slides forward it comes up and then back and even when it came down we thought it was on the line